This video is going to talk about how we graph angles in a coordinate plane. So we'll kind of talk about the basics and then what you're expected to know, all right? So let's draw, again, a coordinate axis here. Uh, a lot of you hopefully remember this. This is quadrant one over here in the top right. Quadrant two is in the top left. Quadrant three is in the bottom left. And quadrant four goes on the bottom right. So if I were to, again, kind of go in order here, uh, I would be going counterclockwise, right? I start up, I start at one, two, three, four, right? This is the direction I go normally, okay? And that is how we're going to start graphing these angles, quote unquote. So let's say I give you the example, I want you to the graph 240 degrees, okay? So what do we know about a circle? Well, a circle all the way around is 360, correct? So if I were to go all the way around the circle, start, so I always start here, by the way. So I start here at zero degrees. If I go all the way around, that'd be 360, correct? If I go two times around, wouldn't that be 720? If I go three times around, that's 1080. We'll go ahead and stop there, but you get the idea. All I'm doing is adding 360 to that. So if, let's say I go from, so I turn in quadrant one and I make my way all the way up to here. So to go from purple to orange, that's 90 degrees, correct? Because if I go a fourth of the way around, 360 divided by 4 is 90 degrees. Okay. Uh, so again, if I were to add 360 to that, wouldn't that be 450? If I add 360 to that, that would be 810. If I add 360 to that, that would be 1170. Right? So, that is, if you go that far around, a fourth of the way around, that's 90 degrees. So if I go from orange, let's go ahead and put this one to uh, pink. No, let's do this kind of chalky green here. So if I were to go to here, all halfway around, that's 180 degrees, correct? 180 degrees. Again, if I were to add 360 to that, that would be 540. Add 360 to that then that would be 900, add 360 to that, and that would be 1260, right? So if I go halfway around from starting at that purple and going all the way to green, that, that's where I'd be. If I go three-fourths of the way around, this color I'll do in blue, okay? So if I go three-fourths of the way around, so starting at purple going all the way to blue, I've made it 270 degrees. Again, at 360 to that, that would be 630. At 360 to that, and that would be 990. At 360 to that, and that would be 1350. Okay, so that is, again, if you go three-fourths of the way around, and then if I go all the way around, as we already talked about, that's going to be 360. If I go two times around, 720, three times around, it's 1080. So four times around would be 1440. Okay? So that is how you rotate around. And think about it. If I were to go negative, I would just go the opposite direction. So I go the opposite way of the quadrants. So starting at the same place, I would go start going down because it's negative and go the opposite direction. Okay, so this is for positive angles. This is for positive angles. I'll go ahead and write that. So positive angles. All right. So let's go ahead and talk about the example I gave us from before, 240. Okay, so if I were to graph 240 degrees, I'll start here at the purple. And then if I go quarter way around, it's 90. Halfway around is 180. If I go three-fourths, it's 270, so I don't want to go that far, so I'd be right about there. Right, the red arrow in the third quadrant. So that's where I'd graph it. And then I would want to identify, okay, so that terminates or ends in the third quadrant. So I'll put 3Q there. Okay, the last thing I want you to identify is this. I want you to make a triangle and connect the triangle to the x-axis. So see, oh, no, you really can't see that. Let's try orange here. So see how I'm connecting this triangle to the x-axis right there? 
And so I want to know this angle closest to the origin, that or where that orange dot is. Okay? So if I know that 240 is where the red is, and I know that 180 is where that light green line is, if I do some simple math, 240 minus 180, I would know that this angle right here is 60 degrees. Okay? Which, that's going to be called my reference angle. Okay? So now that I know my reference angle, it's easy actually for me to know the radians. Because if my reference angle is 60 degrees, I know, so if my reference angle is 60 degrees, I know that my radians is going to be some number, so I'll say x, x pi over 3. So whenever my reference angle is 60 degrees, I know my conversion to radians should always have a denominator of 3. All right? Now, if I wrote this in radians, so 0 is 0, obviously. 360 is 2 pi. 720 is 4 pi. 1080 is 6 pi, and so on and so forth. Okay? Uh, if I were to go this way, uh, this would be pi over 2. And again, we add 2 pi to that, so this would be 5 pi over 2. If I go over that, that's 9 pi over 2, so on and so forth. If I were to go halfway across, this would just be pi. So this would be 3 pi, because we're adding 2 pi to it, 5 pi. The other one would be 7 pi. All right, if I come over here, this would be 3 pi over 2. This is 7 pi over 2. This is 11 pi over 2, and so on and so forth. Okay, so if I want to convert it to radians, so I know it's going to be over 3, but notice how I'm just one 60 degree angle over pi, right? So normally it would be 3, right? Say 1 pi is 3 over 3, 3 pi over 3. But if I'm one 60 degree rotation over that, I'm actually going to be 4 pi over 3. 4 pi over 3 would be 240 degrees in radians. Okay, so notice how I did that without even doing that uh, fraction or conversion. I just because I know the reference angle is 60 degrees, I already know that the radian measure is going to be divided by three. Okay, so I know that was kind of a lot. That's how that works. I'm going to do another video where I kind of go through it quicker, but this was kind of the everything you needed to know video.